wake up and live. Don't mind the rainy patter, and you will find it's mind over matter. Dark clouds will break up if you will wake up and live. Wake up and live. Show the stuff you're made of. Just follow through. What are you afraid of? You'll try it, won't ya? Say, why don't you wake up and live? Come out of your shell. Say, fella, find your place in the sun. Come out of your shell. Say, fella, just be a go-getting son of a gun. Wake up and live. If lady luck is yawning, just follow through. A better day is dawning. Don't break up, get up and give. Give yourself a shake up if you wake up and live. Hi, everybody, and welcome to my Sunday Sewing Week in Review. Today actually happens to be Tuesday, August 12th. I wasn't able to vlog on <laughs> Sunday, so here I am. And I have had a, a pretty incredible week and a half, very busy with sewing. Uh, as you may know, I made the curtains that are directly behind me. Here you can kind of see them. They're open at the moment. And of course, uh, Saturday, uh, this last Saturday was MPB Day, and we had a wonderful turnout, and I, I think it's safe to say that we all had a really nice time. Uh, I didn't buy any fabric myself, I almost never do on MPB Day, but quite a lot of fabric was purchased. So I have a little bit of footage and quite a few uh, shots from MPB Day, some of which you may have seen on my blog, but uh, here, here's a little rundown. We had a great turnout on Saturday. I mean, we had more than 35 people, and we really took over the garment district. Suzanne and Claudine, and there's Kyle and Tomasa and Ron and Michael and Paula and Laura May, Pam and Lily and Joanne and Roberta, and I'm pretty good with names, Maria and Johanna and Enrique and Karen and Elizabeth, and there's Barry. Michael joined us for lunch. There's Tomasa and Kyle and Maria and Johanna again and Enrique and me, and boy, did we have a very full and fun day. Now there is some new fabric in my life. Yesterday I went with Laura May from the blog Lilacs and Lace. Laura May was staying with me for a couple of days. Yesterday we went to the Garment District. We, we went to Elliot Berman, a wonderful fabric store on 35th Street, where I picked up this panel print. Now a panel, oh, a panel print is kind of similar to a border print, except the panel, it, you actually buy by the panel. This is two panels, and you can kind of see how they're... So the, the design is not along the selvage. It's just halfway across the width. Oh, I don't know if that makes sense. But in any case, <laughs> I'm going to use this to make a shirt. Now, at Mood, I got what I think is this very wonderful linen. Uh, I'm going to use it to make pants. It's kind of the color of avocado. Not the skin, but avocado, the part you eat. And I'm going to make a shirt that goes with it out of this. This is like a cotton voile. I actually purchased some of this fabric last summer when I was working on a 1920s pajama outfit for Kathy. And I had a little bit of this fabric, but not really enough to make anything uh, more than trim. I, I thought I was just going to use it to trim her outfit. So I bought another yard, and I'm going to make myself a shirt, and that will hopefully be finished by next week. I have a lot of patterns left over from our pattern swap on Saturday. When I say a lot, I mean I have a box full of, I counted, 75 patterns, mostly uh, from the 70s. 80s and forward. Some of them are completely contemporary. So I have to decide. I'm going to go through them again and see if there's anything I want to keep for myself. I would sell them on eBay, but you know the shipping of them is so expensive, so I don't know whether I'm going to bring them to the, the thrift store or what. I, I would hold on to them if I had more space. Someone suggested I 
have giveaways on the blog, but it's just kind of a lot of uh, work and trips to the post office, which I dread. So that's that. Well, that's about it. Uh, Sewing week ahead, I'm, I'm going to be pretty busy with those two projects, the shirt and the pants that I want to make for uh, Mood. And, uh, yeah, thanks as always for tuning in. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below, either on YouTube or on my blog, Mail Pattern Boldness. And have a great week, everybody. And, as I always say, happy sewing! I never loved her, she never reached me, she was just someone, someone I knew. I think about her on alternate Thursdays, when I haven't got anything better to do. She's got a problem If she thinks I need her I couldn't care less Now that we're through I only sit home And wait for a phone call When I haven't got anything better To do wasn't I awfully smart not to fall and break my heart? And when she kissed me, she never moved me. Nothing romantic, thrilling, or new. So if I'm crying, I'm only crying Cause I haven't got anything better to do